Okay, good uh, Good afternoon. Good morning to you. Good afternoon for, for Mary Tisrael. Um, we had yesterday, we had a machloikas between Bar Pada and, and uh, Rav Masna. The Mishnah said, Stam Naziris is Shleshim Yayim. Stam Naziris is 30 days. Rav Masna said, you learn 30 days. And the fact that it says, Kodesh Yiyya and Gematria Yiyya is 30, right? And Rav Pada was of the opinion, if you look in the parish of Naziris, it says Nazir in some form, <clears throat> 29 times. So Naziris is 29 days. The Gemara now is going to bring in a Mishnah. There's a long Mishnah in the future that we're going to have down the line. And we're going to question a Rav Masna or a Bar Pada, most of the time Bar Pada, along the way. So that's going to be the format of the, of the daf, questioning the opinion, who is correct, Bar Pada or Rav Masna. Okay, just keep in mind the following concept that we're going to come across. Sorry. Bar Pada is, not a problem, Bar Pada is of the opinion the following. When is 29? That's the Orisa. On, if you say 29, of, if you say Stam Naziris, if, however, right, you would say, I want my Naziris to be 30 days, then it's going to be 30 days. It's not Stam Naziris. I went ahead and I qualified exactly how many days I want to be a Nazir for. He would agree if you say 30 days, it's 30 days. Therefore, says Barparda, Midra Bonon, if a person would say, Stam, I want to be a Stam and Nazir, they would make it 30 days, even though it's over 29. Again, 29 is an odd number, 30 is a rounded number, we usually round off. So even though he holds Midra Raisa, 29 is the end of Naziris, he would hold Midra Bonon that Stam Naziris is 30 days. Good. So which is going to lend itself to exactly where do Parpada and Rav Masna argue? Where exactly do they argue? The Gemara does not speak it out. The Rosh does. And I'll give you a very, very beautiful nafkamina. What happens if a person would contract Tumor on the 30th day? So if he said, if he said, I want to be a Nazar for 30 days, then there's no nafkamina because your Naziris is still in vogue. You've contracted Tumor and your Naziris is finished. If, however, he would say, Stam, I want to be a Nazar Stam, Therefore, like our master, another stam, the 30th day is the Raisa. Therefore, what? When you contract this, uh, you contracted your tumma on the 30th day, it would override and you'd have to start in the zero anew. But like Rabbar Pada, that we say stam and nazir, and the 30th day is a gazera, right? The Rabbanon, you have all the types of purposes, your Naziris would be over with. And you all you would have to count is seven days in order to retire yourself from Thomas Mace, which requires seven days. That's a beautiful nafkamina between the two, despite the fact they they, they both know. But yeah, you know, no kabbalas to see, but uh, after after uh, no no kabbalas to see, Thomas right only regular kabbalas to That that the rush speaks that out. So it's a little overview of the daf. So that's basically what we're going to do. So we're up to daf hey on the base with daf daf hey on base three lines from the top. Three lines from the top. Again, bar, bar, Masna 30, Barpada 29. Stam Naziris is 30 days. Now, Bishlam, the Rab Masna Nicha. The Mishnah works out again. These are Amaroyim. So the Tanoic statement of 30 days, of Stam Naziris 30 days, would be in conjunction with the Amaira, Rav Masna. Elo le Barpada, Kasha. Like the Barpadu says 29 days, our Mishnah would seem to be problematic because after all, it says 30 days. And for the Gemara, Amalach Barpada, I did the Ikka Yon Tilson since day 30, the Megaleach, that you take a haircut, Umevi Karben Aisav, and you bring your Chatas Oil and Shlomim on the 30th day. Mishamachi Tani Shloshim. In other words, I would think that you can't drink wine after 30 days, 29 days. You'd have to go ahead and 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 uh, bring the proper protocol that is required for a nazir. So your naziris, in a sense, extends into thirty day. Really, it's over after twenty nine. But since you won't be able to go ahead and return to normal activity on the third until the day thirty is over with, it says non naziris lamid That would be the way Barpado would go ahead and escape the challenge from the mishnah. Another challenge from a mishnah baita. Someone says he's a Nazir. When does he begin to take a, take a haircut and, and start his process of ending his Naziris? On day 31. Not day 30 like Barpada, 
but they 31 like like Rav Masna. It's Kashan Bapada, Bishnah Rav Masna, Nicha, Stam Nazir Islam Yoim. Begin taking your haircut after you after you completed your 30 days on day 31. Elo Lebar Padu says 29 days. Kosha, you should be able to go ahead and be Megaleach on day 30, not day 31. Says the Gemara Melech Bar Pada, Ema Sefer. Let's, you know, Bapad, this is the interesting. The Gemara is going to do this a few times. You're going to ask from the Mishnah on Bar Pada, from the Resha, he's going to go ahead and prove himself in the Sefer. Thus, Rav Masna, the Gemara, he's going to, Rav Bar Pada will have to answer the Resha that he was challenged with, but Rav Masna will have to answer the Raya to Bar Pada from the Sefer. So this is, we're going to have this quite a few times and throughout the Daft. So now, the kasha is, again, you're going to complete it on day 31. It's a riot to Rav Masna, a kasha and Barpada. What do you, Rav Masna, do with the Sefer? Here's the Sefer, Ema Sefer. Im gilach yoim shleishim, im gileach yom shleishim. If you take a haircut on day 31, on day 30, yatsa. But one second, according to you, Rav Masna, you didn't complete in a zero until after day 30 was complete. How can you take a haircut on day 30? Right? That would be a raya to bar pada. I can take a haircut on day 30 because I was finished my naziris after 29 days. So the ratio is a kasha on bar pada and the safe is a kasha on Rav Masna. El safer misayale, the safer is a proof to bar pada. Now what about the ratio that says day 31? Guys outside, what did I tell you? What would bar pada hold if you said, I want to be a nazir for 30 days? Thirty days. Eleration nasek oimeshleimim. We're going to say that he was stamen nazir, and we're going to view it as if he said thirty days again, without going through the long tesis because of brevity. The, again, had he said thirty days, it would be derisa thirty days. Therefore, stam nazir is automatically derabbanan comes thirty. So nase will view stam nazir kishlemim, as if he would have expressed a nether of 30 days outright. That's how we're going to view it. And that, again, and that's how we answer up why you're only gileach on day 31. Because now, according to Rav Pada as well, dirabonon, stam naziris is 30 days. And the Mishnah that said you're gileach on 31 is after the stam naziris that we extended because of the gezeira the saying, I want to be a nazar for 30 days, We'll extend it what to day 31. So Nasa will go ahead and view it. Now we got another problem. What is Rav Masna who says that Shlame is uh, Stam Naziris is 30 days there, Raisa? And what are you gonna do on how can the world can you make on day 30? How can you go ahead and take a haircut on day 30? Who Rav Masna Kosha Seifa, who says you could take if you take a haircut on day 30, your yatza. And for the Gemara, Kasava mixes Ayoim Kikuloi. Rav Masna is of the opinion of mixes Ayoim Kikuloi. Unfortunately, many of us are, are familiar with, this, with, with the concept of Avelis, where a person on the day, the final day of his, of, of his Shiva, you don't do the whole day, you get up in the beginning of the day. We say mixes Ayoim Kikuloi. So, really, you should wait the first whole 30 days and bring it on 31. What happens if Yogi Leach on the 30th day will say mixes Ayoim Kikuloi? Part of day 30 is if all day 30. And that would answer how Rav Masna, who holds a full shloishim, you would you need 30 days from the series, you could possibly be gileach on day 30. Obviously, it must be Rav Masna, hold, Rav Mapada does not hold of Mitzvah Yom Kekulay. He does not hold it, because according, if he if he held the Mitzvah Yom Kekulay, then you could do it on day 29, right? So he does not hold of Mitzvah Yom Kekulay. Good. Tanan, again, the same format. The, throughout the daf, we're having the same format. Questioning the opinion of Barpada and Rav Master. Says the Gemara, Tanan. Hareini Nazar Shleishim Yoim Im Gileach I'm a Nazar for 30 days. Good? I'm a Nazar for 30 days. That's what he says. Im Gileach Yoim Lamid Lo Yoitza. If he's Gileach Yoim Lamid, he's not Yoitza. Kasha on Barpada. Says the Gemara, Boim HaShleimim. Barpada is of the opinion that if you go ahead and say Complete days, you'd have to keep 30 days. Again, the, 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 we, as I, I spoke out of the Akdama, what my? Hareni Naza Shleshim Yoim, and Gilech Loim in Loyotza, you're not Yotza, you're not Yotza. Why aren't you the Yotza? 
What? Oh, you, you want to say, a, oh, it's a kasha. Oh, it's a kasha of Masna? One second. Yeah, he's right. Thank you. Thank you, Moshe is over here. He's, he's correct. Light, light, why are you not Yaitza on day 30? Bishlema Barpada, he'll say that what? That you don't say Mixa Yom Kikuloi, and therefore you're not Yaitza. And but and but Lloyd Rav Bar Rav Masna, who says that you do say Mixa Yom Kikuloi, you warrant you Yaitza on day 30. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. Good. Let's see one more time. Says the Gemara, Tanan, Hareini Naza Shleshim Yoim, I'm a Naza for 30 days. Im Gileach Yoim Yoim Lamid Lo Yaitza. Why not? If you say mixa yom kikulai, like we just said, as soon as you began the thirtieth day, you should be yaitza. Im gilech yom lamid, you should be yaitza. And the gemara by shleimim, you're right. If our master would say, if you need shleimim a full thirty days, then why, in fact, you would not be yaitza. Tanan, mi she mi she nazar beis nazirais, some who says I'll be a nazar twice. Mi galech es harishoyna. You go ahead and take a haircut on the 31st day. There's a kasha on Barpada. There's a kasha on Barpada because it says you end your first the series on day 31. What's the obvious question? The answer is going to be that Barpada said it's speaking where you can miss Makabal for the series, right? It says the Gemara, Vashnia Liyoim Shnaim Ve'echad. And the second is series, not on day 62, rather on day 61. You know why? Because the last day of your Naziris, of the first Naziris, counts as the first day of, of the second Naziris. It goes both ways. Now, Bishlam, Lerav Masna, Nicha, why you take a haircut on day 31? El Olavar Pada Kasha, why are you taking a haircut on day 31? You should be taken on day 30. It says, Amalaf Bar Pada, Amos Seifa. Again, the same format. Question. Vim Gileach, Esari Shain, Aliyam Shleishim. And if you do take a haircut on day 30, so your Naziris is not overwritten, then you would not have to take the second Naziris on day 61, rather on day 60. Good. So now, that's a kasha on Bar Rav Masna, because it says you could take it on on the, on the, on the third, 30th day. So the ratio is shver to Rav Padu, because it says 31. The safe is shver, according to Bar Mas, uh, Rav Masna, because it, it says day 30. El safe Messiah lay. The safe is a raya to Bar Pada. And Reisha, Bar Pada will answer up. Boy, Mishleimim. You know why? You, it go, you'll take a here on day 31? Because it's speaking where you were macabre in the for 30 days. It wasn't Stam the Zeris. You went ahead and said, I want to be a Naza for... 30 days. My partner's mother, 30 days. You have to keep 30 days. I now the safer that says that you could take a haircut on day 30 is schwer according to according to according to Rav uh Rav Masna. We're gonna answer mixing Yom Kukulay. Yes, Mayasha. But when you're the way the case is set up and you're you're Megaleach on, on the 31st day or whatever the day you're talking about. Aren't you destroying the second uh, Naziris already, and you have to start over again? No, no. You start. You start. You start. You start a new count. One is starting. It's not. It's not. It's not Naziris for sixty days. It's a Naziris for thirty days, and then another thirty. It's two seven Naziris. It's not one yeah, of but, sixty. But if you're doing it on day thirty-one, that's already the first day of the second Naziris. Again, one. You, you'll start at Chatzi Ayoyim. You don't have to keep a full day. So Everyone, I'm 30, I, if I be the capital of Zeus right now, believe it, believe Nazir, wouldn't I be a Nazir when this count is day one? Everyone would hold that. Yes, I, but what if you cut your hair today because you're finishing Correct. If I, Even if I cut my hair today to end in a Zeus, I can start a new Nazirus. Why not? Okay, because it makes us going to be All right, correct. Okay. Very good. Okay. I always like to ask questions. That means you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, and to make you feel good, Maish also had that question. Okay. <laughs> to make you feel better. It makes me feel good, yes. Maish, I can't believe you asked the same question yeah. as this mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that was Olheya. Anyway, okay. says, says the Gemara. El Asefa, 
Now, what about Rav Masna, guys? The safest mashma you could take a here on, on day 30. Or Rav Masna, Kasha Sefer, Amalak Rav Masna, Rav Masna will go ahead and answer. Kidiktani Sefer, Yoim Shloishim, Oyla Lakan Lakan. Day 30, again, what's the answer? It's mixes a Yom Kakulai. So, one, it's the day 30, you'll say is you took a haircut at the at that beginning of the day because you'll view it as the whole day. And then not only that, it's also the beginning of the second one. In other words, what was bothering you, Maya, really is the, is the Chiddush of the Gemara. That's Chiddush of the Gemara is that it not only ends the first Naziris, but again, you can begin the second Naziris. Says the Ula Khan, Mayhi, Fred Gemara Kasha. So what's the Chiddush of the second case? Mixes a Yom Kekula. We've already heard it. Now Mishnah, guys, this is all one long Mishnah. So the Gemara's Kasha really is on the Mishnah there. If you told me that Chiddush in case number A, why are you telling me the same Chiddush case number B? Case number A, you told me already. According to Rav Masna, if you take a haircut on day 30, you're Yaitza. Why? Because Mitzvah Yom Kekulai. So why are you telling me over here? Mitzvah Yom Kekulai because it counts for the first and the for the second. And that's the Chiddush. The Chiddush is you'll say Mitzvah Yom even by the end, not only by the beginning. By the beginning, by the beginning is, is, uh, is, not, is, 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 is not a Chiddush. By the end is a Chiddush, says the Gemara. Says the Gemara. Mal de Tema Hani Mili. When you say Mitzvah Yom Kekuloi, Le Inyan Chod Naziris, that's starting a new one. Avon Lishnei Naziris, one Naziris. Avon Lishnei Naziris. I guess, may I guess this is the this is this the answer to your question. Avon Chod Naziris with two Naziris, I would say Loi, because it really is a Tati de Sasre. You're ending one, starting another. It says Gemara Kamash Malon, then in fact, you go ahead and say it on both ends. Kamash Malon, you say it what? On both ends. Tonight. In Gileach Yom Shishim Chaser Echad, if you take a haircut on day fifty nine, you take a haircut on day fifty nine. Yatsa, you yatsa. She Yom Shleishim Oyleloi Min Haminyan, because day thirty counts what from the minyan. Now, Bishleim Al Rav Masna Nicha, you have to give the reason that Yom Shleishim counts for the minyan, or else you won't be able to take on day fifty nine. Elulabar Pada Lamali, why do you have to say that? He says that 29 is, is your normal count. What's your chiddush to tell me that you can take a on day 59? That is your normal count, according to Bar Pada. So I'm Allah. This is what I'm saying. Let's see, let's see the, the small places here. I'm Allah Bar Pada. This is my source. That the length of Naziris is 29 days. Diktani the yom shloishim oyla loy min aminyan that day thirty counts as one. The mashma the oyla loy leminyan achroin that it counts towards the second naziris. Alma the ain oyla leminyan rishain kiniska leel the kivin the tana make make a boy called kach lahachshiv yom lekan ulekan. Right, you see that the fact that it says that it counts towards the thirtieth day that it's not. The ain oila leminyan rishayin, it like it doesn't count towards the first counting, like we said, because the kivin the tana mekal boy kol kach lahachshiv yoyim lekan ulekan. I don't know what I'm talking about. I thought I did before. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me see it again. Kolmar mikanani medag dek the meshek nazir is kach of yoyim. The tani the yoyim shloishim oila loy min aminyan. You tell me that day thirty counts towards the minyan. Now I guess so I guess he's keeping two naziris. The mashma the oil loy leminyan achroin. We you see that what it counts towards the first day of the second counting. Alma dein oil leminyan rishoin. It doesn't count towards the first one. Kinnisgal el. Now you know why it doesn't count towards the first one because you don't need the first one because you only you only need twenty nine. The kibin the tana mekel boy since it's mekel to say that you're a nazir kol kach lahachshiv yoyim lekan ulekan seems to be saying that. When he says that the Tana considered for this and this, he's really saying that it's the first day of the second one. To tell me it's the end of the first one, I don't need it because day twenty nine is the is the end of the Naziris because I only hold twenty nine days. So it's not pshat day shleishim is oil lekan lekan guys. There is no day shleishim according to Rav Bapada. Here's what he holds, guys. Watch. You have two Nazirises, right? And the keep the first one. The next one's fifty nine days. Where does he know that from? Because the first one ended 
right? That first one only counted as the first of the second half. It didn't count to what? The previous one. Because the previous one did not need that day. So that it ended at 29. So that's a weird goofa. The question that you're asking is where our Arpada ascertained his, his chidosh, that it's 29 days. Mikan anisamchi, the fact that it's, it's 29 days. Tanan. Now, a person says, I'm any Nazar, I'm a Nazir. If it becomes day, on day 30, it's Slicer everything. Now, this would be a Kasha on Bar Pada. Like my, Rav Masnu says, you have to complete the Naziris, so you're still, like we said, you're a Nazir. So, Bishlam, Rav Masnu, Nicha, why it overrides the whole Naziris? El Bar Pada Kasha, it shouldn't override, on base, it shouldn't override the whole Naziris. Says the Gemara, Amalach Bar Pada. Aim a safer. Why does it say in the safer? So again, this seems to be the format, right? Again, why does it say in the safer? Rebbe Elias Aimer, in a sayser el shiva. It only says for seven days. The isal kedaitach shleishim beinon. The isal kedaitach shleishim beinon. If you need a full thirty days of naziris, nister kula, it should go ahead and be sayser everything. Outside guys. 30 days, I'm still in Nazir. I go ahead, become Tamei, Thomas Mace, you lost all 30 because I'm still in Nazir. Lloyd Rebel Yezer, you only Tamei for seven days. What does that mean? It means I am, my Naziris is finished. That I'm Tamei for seven days is the Thomas Mace. And at the end of seven days, I'm going to bring the Kabonis of a Nazir. I'm going to bring my regular Kabonis. I'm going to bring a Chattas and Oil and a Shloman rather than a Chattas and Oil and a Nasham. And rather than two birds, it's going to be three animals. That's what's going to happen. So says Barpada, you're asking a question on me from the Rasha that says Tommy Day 30. What about the Sefer Rebbe? Yes, it seems to say what? Now, for some reason, the Gemara goes to answer of Masna. It doesn't go to answer Barpada. In other words, right now we should go ahead and say the following The Sefer is a Raya du Barpada, and the Rasha you'd have to answer up. The Gemara is just going to go with answering up Rav Masna, who is problematic from the Sefer. From the ratio of our Pada, uh, Rav Masna is good because if you went ahead and became a Tommy and they everything is finished, correct? So now we're going to have to go ahead and just how has Rav Masna answered up the Sefer that says that the Naziris is not overridden and you only have to keep seven days. Again, I'm not sure why the Gemara left the format that we had in the previous cases. So it says the Gemara the following. And for the Gemara, some Rebbe Eliezer, Rav Masta, but the answer, Rebbe Eliezer holds, mixes a Yom Kikulai, right? Mixes a Yom Kikulai, and therefore, since mixing a Yom Kikulai, once I became Tommy and they Shloishim, already my Naziris was finished, because I kept part of the day. I so how many days do I have to keep for what? For, for Tuma? Only seven days. I would have to keep only for seven days. Tanan. A rainy nazar mayor yoin. A person says, I'm a nazar for a hundred days. Nitma yoin maya, if it becomes tummy on day a hundred, soiser es hakol. Good. Why? Because obviously he didn't complete his naziris. Of the yes, I mer, ain't a soiser el shloishim yoin. Only 30 days. Now, the question I'm sure you're all asking yourself there's only two possibilities over here. Either he ruined his naziris. Or he completed his Naziris, correct? So what are the numbers then? If it's the completion of the Naziris, if it's a, if he didn't complete his Naziris, he'd have it override all 100 days. If he completed his Naziris, then it should be seven days. Vu punked in 30 days. It makes no sense. Where does 30 days come uh, come into, into the into the in the picture over here? Right? Again, either his Naziris is not completed, and therefore you know, back to stage one, he'd have to start again, or his Naziris was completed, and it's just a matter of seven days of Thomas Mace. So why would he get 30 days from? May is that, what is that, May? What do you mean? I'm confused why the 30th day you don't bring in mix of San Kikulai. What do you mean? If he, he, got, if he destroyed his Naziris on the 30th day, doesn't mix of San Kikulai tell you that you completed the 30th day? Where does it say that we it didn't say any 30 days, it said 100 days? No, no, even in the case before, he said he got he got Tommy on the 30th day, it says, and that's no good. 
No, so Rebbe Eliezer and Yachisnami said, Mixes a Yom Kikuloi, and therefore you did complete the series. That was Rebbe Eliezer. He argued on the Tanakama. Okay. Even that, was, in this that, was, that was Rebbe Eliezer, good for why he said, you only tell me for seven days. And in this case, it's the same thing here on the, when you sort on the so hundreds. It's Rebbe Eliezer saying 30. So now it's a cash on Rebbe Eliezer. What, where do you get 30 days from? No, no, that part I understand is a question. So that, it, should that, be, it should only be seven days. Yeah, I got that. Okay. And 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 what you just said, Rebel Yesa said. Rebel Yesa okay. said that. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, so now says the Gemara. Fisak night of Sub Rebel Yesa, mixing him kakuloi, Nista Shiva should only override seven days. Be light stuff on mixing him kakuloi, list the kula. And if it doesn't all mix the yum, you need the full day, then all the hundred days should be overridden. Everything the Gemara, Loy Armina mixes the yum kakula. Loy Armina, we do not say mix the yum kakuloi. Okay, so I so therefore it should be all 100 days, right? Ihachi lister kuloi on Reish Lakish, Hainu Taimid Rebeliaza, a very interesting reason, right? What's this very, very interesting reason? A Gazer Sakasif. Omar Kra, the Pasik says, Zois Toiras Han Nazir, Biyom Melos Yemei Nizro. This is the parsha of the Nazir on the day he completes his Naziris. Hatayra Amr, the Torah says, a special, special halacha, that nitma be on melots, that if you become tame on the day of your completion of your Naziris, tainlo, give him the Torah's Nazir, give him the Torah of Stam and Nazir of 30 days. So really, guys, he should be tame for another, override the whole thing. He should override the whole thing. Good? We should override the whole thing and say that a day 100, he has to go back to day one. Says, so where do you get 30 from? Where do you get 30 from? Because there's a custom that says, if you got Tommy on day 99, go back 99 days. 98, go back 98 days. Do, do redo it. If he gets Tommy on day 100, oh, that's Yimei Malois. That's the day of his completion. Tain Loi, Tyrus Nazir, and Stamen Nazir is 30 days. So it's a custom that costs of that. Okay, guys, here's the flow of the Gemara. Watch, follow along with Uncle Rabbi Stern. The, the Gemara, it's above, we had a kasha above. Where do you get seven days? Where, where, Rabbi Eliezer says that seven days. That, that was what we, um, we asked L'Chaira, Barpada said, Barpada said that well, obviously it was a kasha that Rabbi, like Rabbi Eliezer why, why is it only Saisa Shiva? It should be Saisa all 30. So the Gemari answered that the Gemari answered that mixes Yom Kikulai. Now, that was a teretz, a kuti answer of Masna. Bapada does not hold the mixes Yom Kikulai. Comes along, comes along Rav, Rav Masna, and he wants to, wants to say, how could you not say that Rebbe Eliezer does not hold the mixes Yom Kikulai? Of course, if he doesn't hold Mixiyam Kukuloi, right? If he doesn't hold Mixiyam Kukuloi, how do you explain that the Naziris doesn't start again from the beginning? And so it must be also Mixiyam Kukuloi. So let, let's see it inside. Says the Gemara. Tanan, start from four lines down. Hareni Nazimir Yoim, Nitma Yoim Meya, Saisa Sakol. Now, the Kasha again, Rebbe Leza, I'm a Saisa El Shleishim Yoim. Now, obviously, once Rebbe Leza holds, fellas, that you're not slice a shleishim yoyim, it must be he holds a mixiyam kakuloi. Once he holds, you don't not slice a hundred days. Guys, clearly he's saying that you don't override the whole naziris, correct? Guys, look at me. Clearly he's saying you don't override the whole naziris. Good? The only way you possibly could say that is if you home, hold mixiyam kakuloi. And, and you, Barpada, says he does not hold a mixiyam kakuloi. That's the cash on Barpada. So, right? It should be that what? If he holds a Mitzayam Kekuloi, it should only be seven days. If he lies to have a Mitzayam Kekuloi, list the Kuloi. It should do the whole thing. So therefore, you bar Pada, who don't hold a Mitzayam Kekuloi, why isn't it the whole thing? says, You don't say Mitzayam Kekuloi. That's what Pada answers. Now, if you don't hold Mitzayam Kekuloi, then it should override the whole thing. So I'm Reish Lakish, 
right? Really, he doesn't hold the Vixi Yom Kukuloi. But since you have this special waiver over here, that if you come Tomei on the last day, you only get 30, that's why you get 30 rather than override the whole thing. But he doesn't hold the Vixi Yom Kukuloi, and it's not a Kasha on Bar Pada. That's the flow of the Gemara. Okay? Ihachi list the Kuloi, Amrei Shlakish, Hainu Taim Dere Eliezer, Amakra, Zois Tairas HaNazir, Biyom Melos Yimei Nisro, this is the Torah, the day, Nazir, the day that he goes ahead and completes his Naziris. If he gets Tommy on the day of Melos, give him a Torah's Nazir. So it's one second. The Gemara now is, wants to suggest that the Machloikis between the Amaroi and Bar Padu says 29 days, and Rav Masna, who says 30 days, is the Machloikis Tanoyim. Good. Where's the suggestion? Let us say the following. It says, it says, fellas, call you may ned in this right toilet of all right. Say all the days of the series, no razor should touch us here. Ad Melois Hayomim until he finishes the days. Ad Melois Hayomim. Ad Melois Hayomim. Right. What does that mean? Ad Melois Hayomim. Shaini Mir Yomim Shnayim. Guys, in other words, he should be a Nazar. He should take a haircut until he fulfills. A yamin, two days. So, in other words, I would think Naziris is two days. Try, you know, he should no razor should touch his head and add malice yamin until he finishes two days. That's what I would say. Says the Gemara, Tamalayma Kaidashia got the para. That why he should be Kaidash until he's got his para, and we know para is 30 days from Kayak Kanem. Engil Sayapach is Mishlashim. Dibra Rabbi Yashia. So, obviously, Rabbi Yashia add, add malice yamin. He says up until 30 days. Rabbi Yonison Aimer, ain't it Sarech? You don't need the limit of Kaidashia Gadal Para. Why? Hariyoyma ad Malay Sayamim. It says until Malay Sayamim. I elu hein yamim shet srichim lemailais, which is yamim that requires to be fulfilled. Habiyamish Lashim. What is the denomination that has to be filled? We know that in Jewish calendars, you can have 29 days and 30 days. So you need to you need to fill at Malos Yomim till the days to fulfill, and the only thing they need to fulfill is the Chaydesh. So everyone agrees it's 30 days, possibly, but you're arriving it at two locations. Ravashia says from God of Pera Yeah, and because he doesn't learn Ad 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 Yomis Yomim, and Rav Yonis is saying no, Ad Yomis Yomim until until and including Yomis Yomim, the day that's fulfilled. My love, Rav Masnu the Amak Rav Yeshia. Rav Masnu says thirty days, both like Rav Yeshia. He learns some Kodesh Yeshia. He learns some Kodesh Yeshia, right? And Bar Pada the Amak Rav Yonason, and Bar Pada would hold like Rav Yonason. He would hold, and he would hold like Rav Yonason. Pirish, and guys, Ad Milois Yamim up until and not including up until Ad. Up until and not including. So I won't include the, the, the thing that finishes the month, fellas. What finishes the month? Day 30. Says Rav Yonison, until, up until, but not including the day. So it's 29 days. And, and Rav Yonison, who learns out from Kodesh Yiyeh, you mean 30 days. You need a full 30 days. So therefore, let's say the machloik is between Rav Masna here with Olak Rav Yishia, and Vapada with Olak Rav Yainasin. That's what the Gemara is suggesting now. Okay? Amalach Rav now. Again, in, in mechanics of Gemara, no Amoira wants to argue on a Tana. So generally, you're able to say each one could hold like the other one. The Gemara is going to say you don't have to say it's a machloikis tanoim according to Rav Masna. He could work it out that he come out even according to Rav Yonison. According to Bar Pada, you're stuck by saying it's a machloikis tanoim. He can only hold like Rav Yonison. He can't hold like Rav Yishia. Go ahead. Says the Gemara. Amalak Rav Masna. Kuli alma shloishim v'inan. Everyone says you need shloishim. Even Rav Yonison would say you need shloishim. V'hocha ba'ad ba'ad b'chal pligi. Rav Yishia sovar ad v'loy ad b'chal. Up until and not including. Therefore, he had to come on to Kodesh Yiyah. Rabbi Yonis and Sava, Ad Ba'ad Bechlal. 
ad malais yomim, and including the day that fulfills the yomim, which is 30 days. So they're both arriving at 30 days, but a different way. Rabbi Yaisha is arriving at, arrive, uh, arriving at Kodesh Yiyah, that Stam Gidl Per is 30 days. Why couldn't he learn from Adli Moshe Yomim? Because he holds up until, but not including. So he'd be, he'd be stuck by 29, right? Whereas Rabbi, Rabbi Yomim says, no, Adli Ad Moshe Yomim, Ad and including Moshe Yomim. So that would be, so each one else 30. So I, Rabbi Masna, can hold like both Rabbi Yomim and Rabbi Yomim. However, Rabbi Pad is stuck in saying he can only come out according to Rabbi Yomim. Omar, going back over the case which said that Stam Yomim is two days, Okay, which is the the needs fulfilling? I, I said the wrong shot. That that you need what needs fulfilling? What is a is a month? What about a week? Why doesn't Shabbos go ahead and fulfill a week? What about a year? Some years are three fifty four. Some years are three fifty three. Some years are three fifty five. Says the Gemara. Amamar i elohen yom shetzrichin lemalos haviyam eshloishim. Name is Shabbos, and maybe Adnaz is only for a week. It says tomorrow, Shabbos mi ikah chesirusa. Is there ever a chesaron of Shabbos? Shabbos is always seven days, guys. It's never a variable. Every month is not always 30. Sometimes it's 29, and 29 is 30. So it's it's good. Shabbos is the, the culmination of the week, but it doesn't, it's it's not fulfilling something that's missing. It's always seven days. Mashenki in a month sometimes is missing a day. Amin Aleph, the aim is Shana, because the Shana depends. Some days it's three. 353, 54, 355. Says Gemara, Mi Do you ever count towards the year? Do you count days? For Abonon the Kiseri Amra, Minayin Shein Moinim Yamim Lishanim. When we count years, we don't count by days, guys. We count by months. Shenemar Lechotshe Hashana. What does that mean? The Elo the Pasuk says. Pasuk says, "Hachadish es elachem." I think we just saw this, right? Hachadish es elachem by Yitzchadashim. Who lachem lechadish Ashana? Yesterday's parsha, right? That hachadish es elachem lechadish Ashana. What do we do? We say chadshim achashvin. We consider months lishanim, lo yamim lishanim, but not days. We only count months. We don't count days. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Bez Hashem. Tomorrow will be in Brooklyn.